This presentation will describe how you can use observations, conversations, and products in the assessment or evaluation of student learning. Triangulation involves gathering evidence of student learning for evaluation collected over time from three different sources – observations, conversations, and student products. By triangulating evidence, teachers obtain a more valid and reliable picture of student learning. Teachers need to be flexible and thoughtful in creating physical and social environments that are optimal for gathering evidence of student learning. Learning goals based on overall curricular expectations and categories of achievement provide students with important information to become successful learners. Students and teachers must have a common understanding of what is to be learned as this will be the focus of evaluation at the end of a period of learning. Success criteria inform the student what successful attainment of the learning goal looks like. Teachers can set criteria for their students and with their students. For evaluation, teachers make judgments about the quality of student learning based on success criteria met and not yet met. Work with your colleagues through professional learning communities or collaborative inquiry to determine learning goals, success criteria, and the collection and analysis of evidence. Engage in backward design to create a plan for instruction, assessment, and evaluation. <music> evidence of student learning must be purposefully and intentionally collected. Evaluation of this evidence is based on student learning after concepts and skills have been taught and practiced. This evidence must include observations, conversations, and products. Teachers may collect too much data, such as images and videos. Teachers are reminded to purposefully collect data, observations, conversations, and products, which will support assessment and evaluation of student learning. Observation of students should be used for evaluation. Observing is an ongoing process of watching, listening, and recording student learning in order to evaluate achievement of the learning goals and success criteria. Conversations between teacher and student at or near the end of a period of learning should be used for evaluation. Conversations can help the teacher more clearly understand student thinking. In this way, student learning becomes visible to the teacher. Student products may include rich culminating tasks, quizzes, tests, essays, projects, assignments, reports, performances, presentations, and exams. Student products should not be used in isolation as evidence of learning. To ensure equity for all students, student products used for evaluation whenever possible are to be completed under the supervision of a teacher. To sort and store information about student learning, teachers need to consider what tools work best to manage the observations, conversations, and products. Examples might include annotated notes, checklists, recordings, written scripts, and graded products. Ensure your analysis considers all sources of data collected, that you have representation from observations, conversations, and products, and that you look deeply and carefully at the information. Triangulating evidence will help qualify your understanding of the level and quality of student learning to determine grades or marks and report. The teacher interprets evidence of student learning through analysis of triangulated data. Using professional judgment, this interpretation tells the teacher, student, and parents slash guardians about the level and quality of student learning based on the learning goals and success criteria met and not yet met. If triangulation of the evidence collected does not clearly articulate the level and quality of student learning, the teacher must gather other evidence from one or more of the three sources. 
This may include further observations and conversations with the student, or including a different product in the collection of evidence, until you can confirm the level and quality of student learning to inform your grading and reporting. As you analyze evidence of learning, consider students' strengths and needs. Use your professional judgment to name the learning and determine next steps in instruction and assessment to support increasing student success. Reporting student achievement involves communicating the summary and interpretation of information about student learning to students, parents, and guardians. Reporting methods include the provincial report card, conferences, portfolios, and rubrics. With the use of observations, conversations, and products to evaluate student learning, this presentation was intended to support teachers as they reach toward ever greater levels of success.